In this video, I'm going to explain how you can make your Supramatic garage door smart using a $15 Shirley One. This is one of the cheapest and easiest ways to control your garage door remotely from your mobile phone, even thousands of miles away from your home. Horman is one of the most well-known garage door operator makers. The Supramatic garage motor comes in a few flavors. They all use the same remote controls, which are rolling code remotes. This tutorial addresses the Supramatic E model, but it should be easy to adapt to other Supramatic models. There are two methods to do this. I am going to show you both of them here. One is easier and one is a little bit trickier as it involves soldering and sacrificing one of the remote controls assuming you have at least two. The first way to do it is to connect the Shelly 1 to the contacts of the remote control button that you use to open and close the door. You will need to open up the remote control, take the board out, solder one wire on each contact of the button that is programmed to open and close the garage door, then put the remote control back together. I also use the glue gun in order to block the wires in place so that the soldering doesn't come undone when the wires are moved. The two wires that you have soldered will connect to the Shelly 1 input and output connectors. The good thing about this method is that you can place the Shelly 1 wherever you want. The only conditions are 1. The remote control is not too far from the garage motor that it loses contact with it and 2. That you have a source of power for the Shelly 1. You can feed the Shelly 1 directly from a 230 volt socket or you can use a 12 volt transformer. In the second case you will have to change the position of the pin on the Shelly. The settings on the Shelly are the same for method 1 and method 2. So I'll explain method number 2 first then we will go into the settings. So here is method number 2. First make sure you have disconnected the power supply to the motor. Never work on live equipment. Then unscrew the two screws and remove the back cover. Once you remove the cover, look for the remote control module. Mine is connected with a wire to these three pins. If you short pins 1 and 2 together, briefly, the door will open. Do it once more and it will stop. Do it a third time and it will start closing just as you would do with the remote control. Connect two wires to these two pins. These wires will go into the input and output on the Shelly 1. Power up the Shelly 1. I will assume you have already integrated the Shelly 1 into the app. If this is the first time you are using a Shelly 1, watch this video in the top right hand corner or just do a search in YouTube as there are some very good tutorials by other YouTubers. Go into the Shelly 1 settings, select button type and select momentary. Then exit settings and go to timer. Expand auto off and tick the when on turn off after one second. Add one in the box to set it to one second and press save. What it will do is when you press the button it will automatically turn off after one second mimicking a momentary push switch. This is all you need to do in the Shelly app. Now, for those of you who use Home Assistant, you can use the Shelly for Has or Shelly Smart Home native integration. You can also use MQTT if you have an MQTT server set up, but you will lose cloud connectivity in the Shelly app. Find out the Shelly one in the list of devices by going to Configuration, Integrations, Shelly Smart Home. You can find it by the same device name it received in the Shelly Cloud app. Once you found it, click on it, then in Entities you will find your switch. You can turn it on from here, but what you want to do is add it to a Lovelace card or use it in an automation. Click on the entity and the Settings window opens up. You can change the name, icon and entity ID to something more meaningful like garage door for example. Press update and you are done. 
One drawback of a momentary switch is that you cannot know the status of the door. Is it open or closed? To solve this, you could use a pair of magnetic reed switches, but I solved it with a magnetic door sensor from Xiaomi Akara. Shelly also sell a Wi-Fi based door window sensor. Stick the sensor on the door and the magnet on the frame so that they are close together when the garage door is closed. When it opens and they move apart, you can create an automation that will tell you when the door is open or closed. Mine looks like this. I called it garage door open notification. It is triggered when the sensor has opened and the action that I set up was to send me a notification on Telegram to let me know that the garage door is open. Likewise, I have an automation to notify me when the door is closed. I also have the sensor in my Lovelace so that I can see at any time if the garage door is open or closed. If you don't know how to set up Telegram messaging in Home Assistant, you can watch my video in the top left hand corner that shows you how to do it. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more tutorials like this. Until the next video, all the best.